Amanda here from scrimpingmommy.co.uk. Thanks for joining me today. And today we're going to make a really beautiful card using the um, Tea Together stamp set. And with the stamp set, you can get the tea time framelits. Now, you can't buy these yet. These are free during celebration on a £90 order, so it's a level two. However, you will be able to buy these come the annual catalogue because these are going to carry over. Can't tell you how much they'll be. I don't know about you, but I'd rather get them for free during celebration. So you've got until the end of March to get hold of these for free. And it cuts out all of the pieces on this set. And like I say, it's carrying over. So it's going to be around for an awful long time. So get it while you can, while it's free. It's a nine piece set. Uh, scattered all over my craft room we've got the teapot this cuts out the flowers it cuts out the um, teacup it cuts out rose buds it's awesome it's lovely okay so I'm going to start and put my card together some parts I have pre-done okay so I'm using coastal cabana I leave all the sizes over on my blog it's just a standard c6 size so check out scrimpingmommy.co.uk for the sizes of everything I just need to just wheel myself over and get my snail so I've cut two pieces of cardstock one for the front and one for inside don't need that okay so I'm going to just layer that in as I say, I'm going to leave all the measurements on my blog. Um, it's quite a detailed card. So, And this one I have pre-embossed with this, which is the, um, is it called Tufted? Textured Dynamics Embossing Folder. And I have just did it really gently on my lowest sandwich just to give it a light, a light embossing. And that is really lovely. So we're going to add that to our front of our card. Line that up nicely. Okay, there we go. And that, so that's that ready. So now we want the decorative elements. Now I've pre made this, which I'm going to stick on, and it is a well, it's a table cover. So I've cut a piece of gingham gala, I think it's three and three quarters by two and a half, and then I've just cut a decorative edge with my decorative lace edge thinglets. I have demonstrated them before, I don't have them to hand. And then I've done this little uh, table cover doily for over the top, and for that I've used my doily builder thinlet dies, and if you use these two in tandem, it cuts out a lovely big doily. So I've chopped that in half and I have um, attached it on there with glue and that is my table cover. Okay, I'm doing a tea, a tea table. So I'm just going to attach that. I'm going to leave a small gap at the bottom. And we've got just a small increment either side as well. And that is our table. So now we need to set the table. <laughs> so now we're going to get some stamping. So I'm using watercolour paper here, okay, because we're going to do some watercolouring. Um, and I'm using mint macaron, first of all, which is a slightly darker colour. And add that all to there. Plenty on. Okay. And then stamp that. On there. Just give it a chance to adhere to the watercolour paper. Okay, so I can move that out of the way now. I'll just pop that there. And then I'm going to do the teacup. I'm going to do the teacup in Calypso Coral. I'm doing it all on the same piece of watercolour paper. I'm going to do all my artsy bit and then I'm going to take it over to my big shot and I'm going to cut it all out. So that's my coastal cabana. I mean calypso coral, I beg your pardon. Okay, for that for the teacup. Now I'm going to do one of the little flowers as well, which have has disappeared. Where's it gone? Is it still inside the box? Um, here it is. Now I want these two colours, okay? 
So I'm going to mount it on my block and because I don't want it all one colour, I want it two colours and this is where I'm going to use my Stamping Right markers. And for the, the leaf parts, I'm going to colour those with my, what colour am I using? Old Olive pen. And then for the flower parts, I'm using Calypso Coral. And then what we do is we just huff on it, <gasps> like when you huff on your glasses when you're cleaning them, and stamp on the watercolour paper. And there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to start and I'm going to watercolour these. So I just need a piece of scrap. I need my aqua painter. I'm using Coastal Cabana for the teapot. We'll start on the teapot. So Coastal Cabana, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Coastal Cabana to a block, a clear block. Let me just close that. Okay. And I'm going to gently, I'm just going to add a bit of water to there. Mix it around because I want it watery. Okay, I want it a lighter colour. There we go. And then I'm just going to gently watercolour all of this uh, teapot. I'm going to do a little bit of shading and add some detail. So I'm just going to finish painting all of this and then I shall be back. Okay, so I've painted all of that. I've left it patchy on purpose. I've added bits of shade in it. It's lovely and watercoloured. So I'm going to take the little flower that I just stamped that one with. I've cleaned it off and I'm going to now stamp some of the flowers onto the teapot. Okay. Now my first one I specifically want on the bottom of the teapot here like so, okay, and then the rest I can just stamp randomly, so I'm turning it and I'm stamping one going that way, and then I'm going to have one going here, and then I want some more, but I don't want it to overlap, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mask it off with a little bit of scrap paper, okay, and then stamp there. Okay, see how that's left that little bit of pattern there? And I think I'll just have some over here as well. So if I just mask that there, and then I'll just have that there, and I'll leave the lid plain. Okay, so we've got a bit of a pattern going on on our teapot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour my flower. And I'm colouring that with, um, I'm going to use Coastal Cabana for the dark. I'm using Grapefruit Grove for the lighter parts. And I've got some So Saffron here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in first of all with the Grapefruit Grove. Now that needs to... Um, just stamp that on a block. And in, in between I've got scrap paper to clean off my brush. You can use the same one, just clean off the previous colour and keep going. Okay, is that clean? There we go. Okay, adding a bit of water there because I don't want it too dark. Swish it about a bit. Let's have a look. That's fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really carefully go around the petal edges but I'm leaving the middle section and the bottom half of the petals to do in a different colour. Okay, really, really careful. Mm -hmm. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let me have a look at the viewer. Let me just pull in ever so slightly. 
so you can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to do this one and then I'll do the others I'll pause the camera and I'll do the others right so that's that bit done and then we want some of the so saffron this is one of the older ink pads so I can use the inside here I can add a bit of water and give myself a little palette so then I'm adding the yellow on top there so we've got different tones it's not showing up very yellow let me put some darker there we go that's better some of this darker ink over here and it'll just blend in because it's watercolor paper it'll all just blend just does its own thing and it just ends up looking pretty cool okay and then I'll just pick up a little bit of the orange for the center and then I'm going back in with Calypso Coral which is a darker color and I'm just going to add that just around the tips of the flower and I know it seems a lot of work for just a flower but it's just going to look awesome when it's done it really is going to look lovely okay And every now and again, you want a card that's a little bit more than just showing it a quick stamp. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to clear my brush off it again. Could do with a little pot of water, really. That would be just a bit quicker. And then I'm using my old olive. And this is another way you can use your stamping up. Stamping right marker. So I've got my ink pads on the old style. I'm using the inside as a palette on the new ones I'm using a block as my palette and then here you can use the stamping right markers as well Just draw a little bit on a block Aqua painter with a bit of water to water it down a right little bit or have it as dark as you want and then you can paint with it So that is that flower and then I will go and I will die cut that and die cut that. Now I'm going to colour, uh, watercolour wash all of this. Um, I will quickly pause the camera just to try and speed things up a little bit and then I'll be back doing it the same principle as I've done the others. One a moment. I've finished all my watercolouring now. I've done a watercolour wash on the cup. I've done my two flowers. I've added different tones and colours. Um, going from darker to lighter um, and then I've used the so saffron in the middle now um, when you're using watercolor on watercolor paper it can very easily bleed those lines because we've only stamped with water-based ink I've not used memento because I didn't want a black edge so what you might find is you might need to go back in I have with the flowers here and on the cup I didn't need to on the teapot and I've gone back in with the same colour stamping right marker using the fine point and I've just where if it's gone a bit blurry and I don't like it I've just re-emphasised that lineage there okay right so now I've got my flower I've cleaned that stamp off I've used it here I've used it here I've used it here and I'm just going to use calypso coral and I'm going to just stamp on the cup the same as I have the tea pot but I'm just going to stamp just the one in the middle because obviously you know we've got a smaller surface okay so I've just got the one there right so what I'm going to do now is I am going to go and die cut all of these on my die cut machine and then we will put our card together right. so I've die cut everything it all just pops out is that bit cut right yeah I've got that little handle there let me just get my stamp and snips I think I might have slipped an ever so tiny amount on my die cut there that hasn't uh, cut, out, cut out as precise as I'd like I probably slipped so I'm just going to trim that um, just a little bit there and in there in the handle I probably should have added some washi tape but I like everything done yesterday so I have patience to start uh, hunting washi tape down um, 
So there you go. <laughs> I'm going to just tidy that up so it's not so wonky. And I'll just trim that bit. Because that's a little bit of a fat border for me. I don't like it. There we go. And the teapot has cut out absolutely perfect. I'm really happy with that. And the little flowers just look absolutely delightful. I love them. So now I'm going to start and build my card. I'm going to use some dimensionals. And what I'm going to do, what my idea was, is I am going to add one of those flowers up on the teapot here like so so i'm layering up where i've stamped i'm going over the top okay and then i'm going to add this one to the corner of the teapot i don't know if i want it in the middle where do i that actually looks quite nice doesn't it i think we're going to do that i think we'll have that we'll replicate it we'll do it the same so we'll add that on a dimensional as well and so we've Mirror image the colours there. We've got the coastal cabana and the what else did I use? Did I use flatty flamingo? I don't know. So those are those, and this was the original one that I did. Now this is on watercolour paper. Okay, this is on just plain whisper white. So you can use either. You're going to get a by the looks of it, you're going to get a better depth of colour using the watercolour paper because it's going to absorb the ink better. It's up to you. You can do it with either. Just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, <laughs> I'm still not happy with this. Let me just trim that down a wee bit more. It's just, it's bugging me. Um, because my die slipped. I just, I don't want all of that white. I don't like it. There we go, that's better. So now we're going to set the tea table. <laughs> this is going to be fun, isn't it? Um, so let's have that on dimensionals for a start and I think we'll just adhere the teapot straight on um, otherwise we're going to have all sorts of thickness going on out where and I don't really want it okay so let's have a look how we want it and I'm going to have it so I'm going to have my teapot there okay so that will just glue on nicely. Now I'm not adding a sentiment to this card. Okay. I'm not adding one. And um, the reason being the sentiments in the set are really lovely. But I just don't want one on this card. <laughs> I think I might add it inside instead. Okay. So I'm putting my, my cuppa. Just there. Do I want it there? I do. Okay. I've got a little bit of glue on there. I'll get that off with my glue eraser. But that is my tea table set. And it's all been hand done, hand watercoloured. So it's that little bit special. I'll just get that glue off with my glue eraser when it's dried. So what I'm going to do is, I have got another teapot that I did. So I'm not going to waste it. And I'm going to stick it on the inside. Okay, I'm going to stick that on the inside, there, like that. And let's have a look at the sentiments and we'll put one inside the card instead of on the front of the card. If I can find my stamp sets. <laughs> what have I done with this here? So I quite like... Um, uh, I think I'll have love is a warm cup of tea that's what we'll have and then you could send that to anybody for any reason you can change up those sentiments it's no problem I'm just trying to get that straight on my block I'm going to use the is that grapefruit grove I'll, let's have a look see what that looks like and I'm just seeing if I've got that straight. Love is a warm cup of tea. And what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to just stamp it in the top corner, which sounds unusual, but I'd like that. And then you can write your message there. 
so there we go we've got a totally and utterly hand watercoloured card absolutely lovely nice 3d effect pretty flowers pretty tea table uh, a card that you could share with anyone love is a warm cup of tea there you go hope you'll give that a try make sure you get the thinlets while they're free <laughs> i think that's awesome thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon